Well, hey guys, welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We are back with a real bummer. This is a really sad story to me. The Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic remake has been delayed indefinitely, which to me is just another fancy word for canceled. For those who don't know, I, I don't know how you wouldn't have, but this was announced back in September, I believe, as part of the upcoming PlayStation 5 slate. So they're going to do a remake, had a really cool little cinematic where they show Revan. It was awesome. For folks like me who've never played the original, I thought this would be a great time to finally dive into that world. And uh, yeah, the studio Aspire has uh, decided it's not going to be made. Now, let me just give you guys the source here. It's Bloomberg. This is a reliable publication, 100%. And I'll read the exact quote here when they talk about the situation that's happened with Aspire. It says, in a series of meetings throughout July, Aspire's two studio heads told employees that the project is on pause and that the company will look for a new contract and development opportunities, said the people who are not authorized to speak publicly about the situation. So the game's been put on hold. They're going to look for other game development opportunities and it's never going to get made, guys. I hate to say it, but not from this studio. And I guess that's my main hope here is that another studio is able to get the license or they're able to negotiate it in some way where a larger studio can take this. Because, guys, this IP is just a money-making machine. There are so many, so many people who would want to play this. You have the old existing fans who've played it on Xbox, PC, whatever. And they want a chance to see the game updated, refreshed, and play through that again. There's fans like me who grew up their whole life with PlayStations, never really played the game, didn't have a PC till I was older and just never found the time for it, and had an, had an opportunity, at least I thought, to get the game in a new polished form and was so excited to experience it for the first time. And you're going to get both those markets, as well as just casual Star Wars gamers, the new, young, up-and-coming fans who like games like uh, Fallen Order and want to try more Star Wars. This was going to be an absolute huge success, of course, if the game was was decent quality when it came out. And so I really hope they find a way to make this game because Aspire has done ports and, and updated versions of old Star Wars games. Now, they've never done one of this scale. And so some some experts in the industry were a little skeptical whether it'd get made because it was probably the biggest project Aspire's ever taken. And unfortunately, their skepticism turned out to be valid because here we are less than what, a year later, the game is just gone. It's interesting as well. They, they note they fired the game's art director and design director in the months leading up to this, which is, I don't even know how you get fired as a design or art director for this game. I don't know what must have happened. I really know. And I don't know. I wonder if we'll ever find out the details, but it's just very, very unfortunate because Star Wars has been hitting out of the park with some of the recent games, right? Uh, Squadrons was great. Uh, Lego Star Wars was great. Another game in the IP space. And then of course, Fallen Order and then Jedi Survivor coming out later next year. And it's just, I thought we had another huge home run here, and instead we don't. And it was going to be, I think, a really cool opportunity to get casual fans who maybe never even heard of Knights of the Old Republic, because those fans do exist. It's hard for us here on Star Wars YouTube, Star Wars Twitter, to know that, like, how could people not have heard of this? Well, there's a lot of fans out there who just watch the major movies and TV shows, and this would have been a really cool opportunity for them to dive into the expanded universe. So... What do you guys think down below? I am very bummed about this. I wish I had a fun video to make, and there will be in the coming weeks some fun things. I think we have a higher public show later this week. I think we're going to have, of course, a ton of Andor news as we prep for the launch. Tales of the Jedi, Bad Batch, you guys know how hyped I am for the future, but this was one that was really, really exciting for me, and I am very sad we're not going to have the opportunity. So... Uh, let us know down below, guys. Hopefully we'll have some more exciting, uplifting news later this week. We do appreciate all your support. Looking forward to a very busy August and fall as we dive into so much new Star Wars content. So thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll talk to all of you again very soon.